Hello and welcome to the new late model. The new late model stock, that is. Replacing the old late model. We are here doing an unofficial race on week 13. Trying out this new car for the first time. And we've got ourselves a pretty stacked field here too. Um, despite the fact it is unofficial. It is a 4.4 strength of field. And uh, I don't know what number I would be otherwise, but we've got some really fast guys in here. For example, guys hitting uh, the point ones, which I have not been able to do yet. I got some practice beforehand here and just uh, got into the point twos, but low point twos, but just the point twos. So um, I guess we're just going to jump out here and try to qualify, see what we got. Car sounds completely different from the old one. Right now it has a whole lot of grip too, which may or may not stay that way forever. It's got an absurd amount of grip. Very hard to even get this thing spun out. But uh, I guess uh, that's good for me because I'm pretty good at spinning out. <laughs> Let me try to get a good lap here. That was not a great 3 and 4, I don't think. Wasn't too bad. I uh, overdrove 1 and 2 that time. I tried to get too much. And of course, as soon as I start saying, oh, you can't get this thing loose, I found a way to get it loose by being up uh, on the high side where I didn't have much grip, but that's okay. First lap's not too far off from what I've been able to run. 0.24. I imagine we'll drop a little bit. Seems like the track is just a tiny bit faster than it was in the practice beforehand. So, maybe I could have done better, but that's okay. All just about learning. Yeah, look at that. That's an all-time optimal even. That's a .170. Of course, now I've got the tires up to temp too, so... That's an advantage that other guys may not have had. .170 still would have only gotten me fifth anyway. So we're about where maybe uh, I deserve to be. Just gonna try to take some time to learn this new car. I, uh, I'm a little bit late to the party, because early in the week when all this stuff was coming out, I uh, had some busy work days and left me exhausted. So uh, I haven't really been able to go out and check out all the cool new stuff right away. First time I've jumped into this car, and I still want to check out the Formula Ford, but they've been at tracks I don't own the past couple of days, so that hasn't helped. I'm hoping to find one at a track I do own. Or if they go to a track that uh, I want to purchase right away, that'll be good too. I just have to be selective about what I buy. So, for now though, we're at Thompson. I own this track, and uh, I had the old late model, so we got this car as well. Good stuff. Not so sure uh, you even want to be on the inside. Outside might be the place to be here at Thompson. As you can see by the lanes I'm running here, it's kind of like a higher lane. One and two, and then lower three and four. I pushed that time though. <laughs> that wasn't a very good example. Still got to slow the car down, believe it or not. But it is uh, pretty darn grippy. So you can get on the throttle pretty good and not have to worry about it breaking loose unless you really start driving over the seams and turning the wheel a whole bunch and get up in the marbles and then it starts getting weird. But you can like drive it in crazy hard if you really want to and it's it's not even gonna spin out right now. It sounded like maybe it might have a little bit too much tire grip and uh, that's also contributing to the fact it has like Superman brakes. Like you'll see here, I'll, I'm going to slam on the brakes. Stops on a dime. <laughs> the old late model is definitely not that way. Which, I know this is not the same car, but uh, I don't know if it's supposed to stop that quickly. That said, I don't know a darn thing about this stuff. I'm just uh, relaying what I've heard from other people. Um, whether that's Nick or other 
Uh, there's actually been some people that drive late models in real life that have kind of said, yeah, it's a little too grippy right now. So we'll see if they try to adjust that. That's what week 13 is for. That's why uh, we have so many unofficial things this week, because that way, um, if things are broken or things need adjustment, they can adjust that before the races start counting. In case you're wondering why 13, uh, week 13 even exists. But it is looking like we're going to start P9. Lots of fast people. I just I hope I get some time to race. I hope I don't get run over or anything. You can see the strength field is so high, I could finish ninth and still get 4i rating, which doesn't have, happen very often for me anymore. There are races where I can finish third and lose i rating. So pretty strong field here. Not going to be too upset if I don't finish well, because uh, we're just having fun, enjoying the new content. Get out there. You'll be lining up on the inside. I'm actually sitting a bit higher up in the car than I normally do. Because it's a little bit uh, hard to see. Got this window and the dash is kind of up there a little bit. I'm usually at uh, close to 0, 0.0. About 0. 0.6 driver height right here. I always have to adjust it a little bit depending on the car anyway. For example, the Formula V, I'm all the way at like negative 2.0 because it's basically flat on the ground. It's so tiny. I just thought that was interesting. Sitting up, gotta have good posture if you're gonna race this car. Get the uh, chat on in case we need to hear something. But you can tell it's a uh, an unofficial race because we got numbers that are higher than like 34. We got 37s, 42s. Got my 36 on the car. Kind of tried to get a purpley, grapey looking car, but it, it kind of has come across a little bit too dark. It's kind of looking black almost. So I might have to adjust that. Because um, in the paints, whenever I was making it, it kind of looked... I was trying to go for like a deep purple, darker purple, but it, I think it went a little bit too far on it. Because actually in sim, it's hard to tell it's even purple. So maybe adjust that a little bit. But we should be getting started here pretty soon. So we had someone leave for whatever reason. We'll probably have to wait the next 15 seconds or so. It's all right. Do we have a fast repair? I think if I get wrecked, though, I'm probably just going to call it quits. Because nothing to gain from an unofficial race, except for the fun of it. I'm actually going to have the dash up, because I can't actually see the, uh... <laughs> can't see the tachometer or whatever. Tachometer, blah 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 blah. It's like a second gear start. Yeah, seems, seems okay. I hope guys take it seriously, because obviously it's unofficial, so not really anything to lose, uh, other than, uh, you know, can't intentionally wreck people. Sporting code still applies, but guys may be a little bit more willing to do aggressive moves or something, though it never seems to stop them anyway. <laughs> so we'll see. I'll, I'll, all I hope for is a good race. That no one decides they're just going to park in the middle of the track and ruin it for everybody. See a puff of smoke. That's interesting. We'll be starting on the inside. See how that works out. Let's go. Three wide. Three wide. Three wide. Three wide. Okay. Oh, okay. Had to dodge some sun drop there. Wow, I actually got loose there. Okay. Cold tires. Gotta keep that in mind. 
Hope we didn't plan on that for our plan. Let's get our rhythm here. We actually have some room. We avoided that mess off the start. It's just a oh, oh, damn. Oh, my God. Front is just roasted at 20.3. Let's focus on hitting some laps now, huh? That's Hershey Howell for you. Yeah, it's not, not sure what happened. I think there might have been an aggressive move. Maybe someone didn't hold their line. I was focused on my corner at the time, so I didn't really see what happened. Yeah, you definitely did. Yeah, behind. He did. Running a little lower at three and four. That was a little bit too much right there, but. you got something to put in your mouth, I just said, I guess it was my fault then. You can definitely get higher in one and two, and I think it works better. Kind of a high side on exit of four here at Thompson doesn't work quite as well. How am I getting sideways? Yeah, well, I have a girlfriend and wife did. Thank you for the quality, by the way. Oh my god, what the heck is wrong with this car? I can't get it to turn. One second it's loose, one second it's uh, spinning. Obviously, it's not the car, it's my fault. <laughs> but. Because I'm still learning it. That's how it works. Here we go, a little bit better there. So I think we're a little bit faster than the 13 Hernandez. He was actually pretty patient as I figured some things out, so I appreciate him for that. I'm not sure if I have anything for the guys ahead, but I'm going to try to hit some good laps and maybe uh, we'll be able to make up some ground. We'll see. I'm very not good in 3 and 4, though. I don't have that quite hooked up yet. <laughs> I don't really have 1 and 2 hooked up yet, either. I'm kind of stinking right now. With the 13 having been patient with me, if he goes for it, I might just go ahead and let him have it. He's been very clean with me, and I appreciate that. We're about a third of the way through this thing, though. We will be at the end of this lap. And for session last lap, I think. That guy behind's faster, it looks like. If he goes for it, I'll probably just let him have it. Hey, that was a good corner, though. At least compared to the last lap. Trying to get the uh, rhythm. Pretty fun to drive. I always enjoyed the old late model as well. Uh oh. Slow car down low. Looks like it was a lap car. We have a pass attempt going on ahead. Oh, that's David Malbec. I didn't even notice he was in here. Hello to him. I guess maybe he must have had some trouble because he's in the in the back. We'll hopefully be able to see what happened to everybody in the incidents later. Kind of get the rhythm again. Had ourselves a good lap or two. A 
don't push up into the wall, though. Was it too great of a three and four? It was a little bit too low, I think. Oh, nope, don't spin. It does get a little loose. Um, if you are maybe not so good like me. <laughs> this track really, uh, I think is a place you're gonna get loose all the time anyway. Just chat with how, uh, different the lanes are. Got, like, the weird banking here. I think it can really send you different directions sometimes. So can we get around the 37? We can try. Run, maybe? Not quite. Head to go, this time by. Come times are pretty consistent. It's getting a little loose. Glad it's not just me. Oh, he's getting real loose all of a sudden. Quite able to get there. I don't get around him. Can we get around him? Really trying, trying to keep this spot. Easy now, don't drift it. That was bad. I probably added some serious heat to the tires, what I just did there. Slow car on the bottom. Only five to go coming up. Five left to go. Twenty point five. Getting it on that seam, trying to get it rotated. It's dangerous, but it's fast. I guess you can say that about any race car. It's dangerous, but it's fast. <laughs> That's what the, that's what we're doing here, right? Dangerous, but going fast, right? Okay, we got a guy on the high side running into the wall. That's a little scary. Outside. Outside. We alter our line a little bit. We figured it out though. The guy in our way is saying to someone else to stay off the track, is that what he's saying? This is intense! We got someone right behind us. White flag, last lap. You've just done it. Twenty point five. You know he's gonna want to try to get it. We got a better run off though. Ooh, we got a move on the guy behind us. Didn't quite get there. That was a great race, actually. P six. Okay, that's the end. Good okay. Finish, mate. Chicken flag. Chicken flag. Well, I didn't want to get in a 4X, but it doesn't right. count anyway. You did really well. Good race, good win. I assume good win. <laughs> I didn't see how it happened.
Go ahead and park it. That guy's Ross Chastaining. That was pretty good. That was fun. That was very uh, high intensity, but at least from where I was sitting, it looked pretty clean. We get 34 Phantom Eye rating points, so I can pretend that I gained stuff from that. 7782. I have heard that the tires can matter in this car, so um, I could have maybe saved the right front a little bit more, but easy to say in retrospect when I'm not getting chased from behind or trying to make a pass. But we move forward, so that's good, right? Moving forward on a short track, usually a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and assign myself a 0x, too, <laughs> since none of it actually happened during the race. And it doesn't actually make a difference regardless. So heck, that was pretty darn good. Let's see what happened out here. So P3, oh my god. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I was worried about. People not taking it seriously. Like there, there's nothing. There's no way that was ever gonna work. That was just stupid. I don't know. Maybe that's how that guy races all the time. I don't know. Now he's just driving right down in front of the field. So he does this, slides up the track, comes down, just parking it in front of the entire field. Oh yeah, that was me barely sneaking through just a second ago. You just barely get by it. Someone threw a cone at me. Some drop getting lots of advertisement. I don't think that one knew that they were three wide right there. So I was just here to wreck everybody, I guess. Like, what it? I guess, remember his name. I'd be scared of him anytime I see him. Just ruining the race for a handful of people. I'm sure once he was gone, that's why things looked cleaner. One getting loose. At least I'm not the only one. A little bit more of it going on. The one's like pitching it into the corner. What are we doing? Man, that's crazy. Looks like he's trying to drift it around the corner. Before it gets it sideways, the damage could be contributing to that as well for these guys. Not sure if that is the case or not, but... Three up into the wall. Eleven up into the three. And again, maybe? The eleven's ready this time. Ready to make it a pass instead. At least try to. He's pinching him down low pretty good. And then uh, it doesn't work out for anybody. So that wasn't too smooth. Levin has been watching the 3 too much and then just completely bounces off the wall and kills the 42. Yeah, David in the race. How did he end up doing? He's in 12th right here right now. I'm not sure. Two, getting caught up behind the left car that got in the wall. 11 goes too high. There's uh, no more banking once you get all the way up there. Thompson's pretty interesting in that way. And I think the 11 just gave up. Yeah, you kind of like go off a cliff up there. Oh, well, that was kind of strange. Oh, you get to that weird part of the wall, I think. Or maybe just turned left because that was the end of the race. And he's just uh, being goofy. I don't know. But that's it. So, I mean, pretty clean overall relative to what you might expect from short track racing, especially with a lot of fast guys that all believe they can win <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll take that that was a good first race in the new car i'm happy with that
So uh, we'll get ourselves a P6, moved up a couple spots, and uh, got some experience in the new car. So good stuff. Lots of incidents out here. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed. So some new late model stuff. And uh, I'm sure you'll be seeing plenty more of this in the future. Uh, but for now, I'll see you later, and I hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching.